This video was produced, edited and narrated by fifth-year medical students Mahir Patel, Sinead Davies and Danica Richards at the University of Cape Town and will focus on post-operative physio and care after anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction. The ACL can be injured in several ways. It is a common sports injury and some examples are landing from a jump incorrectly, changing direction rapidly, stopping suddenly, Post-op care generally includes ice and elevation, keeping the bandage clean, pain relief, and limitation of contact sports and running. Do not progress your exercises without the instruction of your physio and do the number and types of exercises prescribed. During the first week after surgery, there are a number of exercises you can perform to strengthen your muscles. The first would be to place a pillow under your feet and keep your knees straight. Ensure that you do not place the pillow under your knees. The second exercise is to gently bend the, and extend the knee as much as possible. Between discharge and your first physio appointment, you can continue with the previous exercises and also add a few more. The first is a straight leg raise, where you keep your knee straight and lift your leg off the bed as high as possible. The other exercises can be performed from standing. The first is to stand with support at your side and to raise a single leg and maintain balance. This can be done on both legs. The second is to stand unsupported on both legs with your eyes closed and to try to maintain your balance. You can also do mini squats, which are done with your knees bent to 30 degrees. Between weeks one and three, you will continue with the exercises before, again with the addition of a few more. The first is a hamstring extension, in which you lift your knee and raise your leg. Hold your thigh and try to straighten your knee. The second exercise is hip abduction. You will lie on your unaffected side with the knee slightly bent and your affected leg straight. Raise your leg as much as you can. Next, you will straighten your unaffected leg and bend the affected leg to put your foot under the healthy knee. Try to rotate your leg outwards as much as possible. In weeks three to six, you can progress to single leg dips, which are done with support and the unaffected leg bent. Lower your affected leg 30 degrees and try straighten. You can also perform calf raises, which are done unsupported with your legs straight. Stand on your tiptoes and lower. As function improves, you can perform wall sits. These are done with the back against the wall and gentle lowering until your knees are at 90 degrees. Lastly, you can perform a quadriceps stretch. This is done by lying straight on your stomach and bending the affected knee to raise your calf. You can repeat as much as possible. If you swim, you may resume doing so, ensuring that you stick to straight leg kicks and avoid doing breaststroke. This would be done in a pool. After six weeks, you can start increasing your activity. Examples include walking or running in water, jogging and road cycling, road and beach running, up until nine to 12 months where you can resume training for your chosen sport.